Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video. I'm the Casual Racing Gamer. Today, we are going back to Spa. Now, I haven't raced Spa since since five months ago um, when I first started GT7. It was one of the first races, daily races that I've done um, at that time. And I was an E-rated driver just starting out. I had no idea what I was doing, no clue about road racing. Um, I was coming from, from iRacing, oval racing before that. And I, I was really clueless. So now we're gonna jump five months ahead and things have definitely changed. I learned a lot, I learned a ton. I learned a lot from you guys who shared so many tips um, these past couple months that got me to where I am today. And I shared a lot of those, those tips that you guys have given um, through all my videos, things that have helped me get better, things that helped me improve from, from literally not knowing anything about road racing, um, not used to ever shifting during racing. You know, in, 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 in oval racing, you, you basically go into gear and you stay there. You don't have to worry about upshifting, downshifting, how to handle an apex coming in and out of turns, exits, entrances. Um, it was a whole different ball game for me to learn. Um, and like I said, I was an E-rated driver then. I, the clue is what I was doing. Um, and, and, and now we're going into this race as an A-rated driver. I always say don't worry about your driver rating. It's not about being an A-rated driver or an E-rated driver. It's about just improving for yourself, getting better. And the only thing about getting better and moving up to, to higher lobbies is you'll get better racing. Um, that's really the goal that we'll be looking for. If you want to be moving up in, in driver rating is not just to say, is not, it's not just about your pride and, and, and being a show off of your rating. It's just to get there for better races. Um, once you get, once you get to like a B, a mid B, I, I feel like the racing definitely improves. It definitely, you, you know, you're going to get your dirty drivers no matter what. There's tons of dirty drivers in A rated lobbies. Um, but you'll just, overall, it's usually a, a better racing experience. So that's going to be the biggest thing for, for moving up in your driver rating. And again, my past videos, if you guys are struggling getting out of an E, um, getting out of a D, getting out of a C lobby, um, th those should be really easy to get out of if you follow my simple tips on how to improve in, in, in GT7, in sim racing, and it will definitely help you um, move up in a driver rating. You know, always worry about your safety rating. You know, that's going to be a big thing. You want to have your safety rating match your driver rating. So you want to move up. You want to keep your safety rating in an S rating and, and you'll get some good races. Now, you know, going back to other sim races like iRacing and all that, um, I know people always complain GT7 has the worst drivers, the dirtiest drivers. It's in iRacing too, guys. So don't think you go into iRacing and it's the cleanest racing that you ever see. Um, you deal with the same things. You deal with the same frustrations. You deal with people yelling at other people that they don't know how to drive and get the heck out of this this sim racing and go to blah, 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 blah. So it's it's not a GT7 thing, guys. Um, you're going you're gonna to find that in any sim racing game that you go because it's a game and we're all just amateurs racing in a game, right? We're not pro drivers. So don't expect like anywhere you go is like this greatest thing. But as you move up, you just you just prove that you can you can race a little bit better than before. So so as you move up, you know, you race with drivers that are usually a little better, but it doesn't mean everybody's clean and everyone's good and no one makes mistakes. It's going to happen at no matter what level. But um, let's hop into it. Let's check out the difference now, you know, coming in as, as five months later, coming in to an A-rated lobby at Spa. And I haven't raced Spa again since five months ago when I first did it. I know Spa, back then I had no idea what Spa was. Now I know it's like this iconic racetrack for road, um, for circuit racing. And, and you know, I have a whole nother appreciation for this now. And I know a lot of these guys and a lot of you guys race this track probably way, way often and are very familiar with it, but I really need to get familiar with it. I really needed to... Um, improve myself because I know I was going to be racing with drivers that know the track well. So, so, you know, I definitely grinded it before I got into this race, but let's, let's, um, let's hop into the race and I'm excited for it. And let's check out what, um, what happens here. We're starting in P6 guys. We're starting in P6. You know, definitely if you guys enjoy the video, thumb it up. Um, we'll always appreciate those, those thumbs up and, um, you know, subscribe if you enjoy the content and, you know, I love giving you guys different views of, of the race. So hopefully you guys enjoy the layout. Um, I know I enjoy, you know, seeing all different views of, 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 of a race where you can see the front, the back, um, like a cinematic view, the, the VR view, obviously racing in PSVR 2, always racing PSVR 2. If you're new here, for you guys that are not new here, you know, I only race in PSVR 2, um, any racing. That's, that's what I do. I love VR. So. I, I am 100% VR lover. Here we go, guys. So we are off. Starting P6, turn one, you know, is always going to, you know, you need to be safe in turn one. Now, if you're racing Spa in a lower level, turn one is going to be a wreck fest, guys. Um, just know that. No, no you want to just 
get clean out of turn one. You know, obviously in a higher rated lobby, you're, you're going to have better drivers. You're not going to be as in, as such a risk in turn one. But I know when I raced this in a lower level lobby, um, turn one here was, 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 was a wreck fest. So coming into this spot, and I, I know this area has a name, right? So, so what's the name of that area right there? I, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of name for that area. But that area, you know, keep it flat out there. And it took me in practice. It took me a little while to really be able to keep it flat out and handle that 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 turn without going off off track and getting a penalty but eventually you get it you just need to know where you need to really hit that hit that wheel right hard and then stay on the track so coming into the chicane first lap as always you know i preach the same thing in all my videos you always hear me saying the same things and that's because it works guys it works um consistency first lap don't worry about overtaking you just want to kind of establish a pace don't try to run in front of the car in front of you unless you have a clean pass and he's not driving well otherwise i just stick with the pack here i'm just trying to stick with the front pack stay in my spot i'm not looking to take over p5 i'm just looking to hang back here you know i'm breaking a little earlier than usual because i don't want to ram anyone it's not worth it yet we're on lap one of lap four things are going to happen things are always going to happen right mistakes going to be made from other drivers you know we do have a car on our tail and behind the car us and there we go you already have a wreck there so p4 out p5 out now luckily those cars ghosted um when i was driving i wasn't sure as you get higher up in, in lobbies i believe the ghosting is a little bit less um where where things happen more immediately when you're a lower level but at a higher level they, they don't happen so quickly so i was a little concerned about um that was that car going to actually ghost or was i actually going to end up hitting it and wrecking luckily it ghosted in time and i was able to go through it but i did lose a spot here um so uh, you know p4 did pass me um right there so I, I was in p4 until he passed me but i wasn't gonna battle there i kind of was just at that point i was kind of just like happy i got through that wreck without wrecking myself so um p5 uh i'm happy here right i started p6 i already moved up a place to me that that's already a, a good start um for full lap one without doing anything without overdriving um cars behind me uh, you know I, I don't see anyone really behind me right now so i'm feeling like i'm in a good spot my focus is on taking that, that chicane a little a little hot there, a little wide. But, um, you know, it, it's always rough to come into the chicane and, and not come in hot. So you need to be careful. You need to, you need to really be consciously slowing down a little earlier. Um, definitely better to slow down a little earlier than a little later. But, you know, I'm going to keep these cars close to me. I'm not going to... Now, now we're in lap two, right? So, so now, you know, it's only a fall lap race. So lap two is where we want to start making moves. Cars are spread out. We don't have, you know, 16 cars all bunched together trying to trying to take over first place from, from last place. So now we can race a little better here. Again, keeping it flat out here. This is a big thing. If you, if you can't keep it flat out there, you're going to lose a lot of time and you're going to have cars overtake you. So definitely work on that. If you're, not, if you're not driving that spot flat out, definitely work on keeping that flat out. Again, it took me a little bit to get, to get the feeling and used to it, how to keep it flat out without going over for a penalty. But... Um, you know, I got there. You, you'll get the feeling, guys. So coming in the chicane and, you know, right now I'm happy that, you know, we lost all the cars, beh cars behind us. So that's a good thing, right? So this is, this is what my goal always is, to lose the cars behind you and stick with the cars in front of you. Now we want to worry about consistency. We don't need to overdrive. Um, if we can just hang with these guys right now, make sure, see what they're doing. Um, if P3 and P4 race closer, that, that's going to be a better thing for us. The closer those guys race, the better it is for us. The more they'll slow down, um, the better chance that they have for, for, for getting into um, an accident between each other, right? So that's my focus. And I always say, make sure you're close enough to take advantage of it. Any mistakes, you want to be right there to take advantage of. So you don't want to fall back too far, but you also don't want to overdrive. So if I took a P5 in this race, um, to me, that I'm okay with the P5. Um, uh, that you know, I wouldn't be complaining, but I, I want more. I want more, right? Uh, as we move up, we want more, but we don't want more at the sacrifice of losing spots. But uh, again, I have room from from P6 behind me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to still hang with with three and four here. P3 off the track takes it wide. Again, P3 and P4 are racing close together. That puts pressure on those guys, right? The, the P3. Seeing P4 right in his mirror right there, he's trying to drive it hard. He's trying to overdrive. He's trying to pull away. He doesn't want to get overpassed. The mistakes, it's going to happen every single time, guys. It's always going to happen. That's why you just need to be consistent. Keep your laps good. Don't overdrive. Keep on the track, and you will move up places without, without having to be overly aggressive. Um, here we go. So P3 picking up a penalty here. So now I know he's going to pick up a half a second penalty when he, we come back around. I don't want to lose him. I want to stay close enough now where I, where he um, serves his penalty is where I'm going to try to take advantage of over, overtaking him. 
I don't need to overly be aggressive and wreck any and, and, and risk anything on this lap for an overtake. I just need to be close enough to overtake him when he serves that penalty. So that's what's going through my mind right now. Not overtaking him on this lap, but um, you know, looking at P1 and P2, they're, they're, they're pretty far in the distance. So in my head, I'm not, I'm not catching those guys um, at this point. So that's not my focus. My focus right now is going from a P4 to a P3 when he serves his penalty. So I need to stay close enough where he doesn't pull away far enough from me where I can't even overtake him when he serves that penalty. So, so you know, when you see a car with a penalty in front of you, look how close the car in front of him is to you. So if P2 is really close, you know, you might want to be a little aggressive here and then try to overtake P3 to get closer to P2 and overtake P2. But right now, P2 is out of my reach. So the only thing in my head going on right now is is, is I'm looking at a, at a P3, right? We're on lap three or four. We're going to be hitting the last lap. He's going to serve a penalty. And I'm going to have to at least try to hold on to, to a P3 if I can get to P3, right? I'm, I'm just staying close here again. Stay close to that P3. Um, P, P5 is, is nowhere in sight in my mirror. So I'm looking good. Even if I stick with a P4, I'm good. I don't want to risk wrecking. Um, and you can see P, P, um, P2 going a little wide there. So that we're going to actually start catching him a little closer now because he took that turn pretty bad. So right now, now we're getting a little closer. Now, now we're going to try to like push it. So I see P2 in sight. Now he's kind of in reach, right? If he makes a couple like a mistake or two more, um, now he's in reach. Now he's in reach. Now I can be there. Now I still have to drive careful because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get into a mix-up with with P3. Um, but so, he's, so I'm really close to him now, so I know I'm going to be able to overtake him um, when he serves his penalty. And we are just going to try to take advantage of it, see what's going to happen here, and how close we can get to um, P2. So again, I'm not going to overdrive. I never. I, when I overdrive uh, is when I make mistakes. When I overdrive is when I, is when I wreck. When I overdrive is when I go off the track. So always think about the position that you're in and is, is it worth it? You know, even giving up a P3 to a P4, if I need to just be a little safer, uh, I'm still okay with that. But I would love a P3. So so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight hard for this P3. P2, um, I, I, I'm not really sure I'm gonna be able to catch him. He's close enough where I can catch him if he makes a mistake. But if he doesn't make a mistake, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to overdrive it to to overtake him. Um, I, I I still need to be a little careful here. P4, you know, I, I know is 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 a good driver. I, I you know I've been I drove behind him this whole time, and he's in my mirror and he can very well catch me. So that is also going through my mind that I do need to worry about P4 catching. So. Now I'm kind of in the middle here, and I know he, he's going to fight hard. He's going to he's going to over push it. He's going to fight hard to get my position. I know he's going to fight hard. Um, most guys do fight hard. Most guys do get aggressive, especially if you're on a top three. Um, top three people want to be in a top three. So he's going to over push it. I'm going to try to s keep it a little more safer. Um, P2 knows I'm in his mirror, so I'm going to try to you know see where I can inch up if possible if I can. But again, I'm happy settling in a P3. I know if I wreck, it's definitely going to push me back into P4. And then P5, you know, my, I don't know. I can't see P5 in my mirror, but he might be close enough that if, that if I run off the track that he can actually catch me and I just keep losing spots. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to risk that when I'm running up front in the last lap. P2 has a good distance in front of me. Um, I don't think I'm catching P2. He's, he's running good unless he makes a mistake here. Um, and usually the guys up front here kind of kind of okay know what they're doing you know they, they made it this far and and you got to kind of assume right now he's, he's gonna drive it okay so I, I'm not gonna overdrive it um, just to get closer and risk anything I don't think I can catch him at this point I'm more worried about right now with p4 catching me because um, because he's pulling up really close to me so you know we're, we're gonna battle here we're gonna battle coming into the end and and right now a p3 um, feels good to me. A P4 still feels good, but it's not going to feel as good as a P3. Now he is on my bumper. He's coming. We're coming into the straight, and, and I know this is where where, where it's going to get a little hairy here. And and this is where we're going to have to make a decision. Um, he's gonna he's gonna be in my in my slipstream, so he's he's going to be pulling in there. He's going to be coming at a high speed, probably higher than me. Um, and we're going to be coming into this chicane, and and this this, this chicane is gonna is gonna cause a problem. He's on my inside. Um, and I see him overdrive this. So now I just pull back, come into here. And then, you know, I knew he, I knew he was going to be aggressive. It was a matter of how is he going to handle this, the chicane? 
Was he going to wreck me? Was he going to push me out of the way? And I needed to be really careful how I was going to drive it. But once I saw him drive by me, I slammed on my brakes. Uh, you know, I almost overran it because I was going to like feel a little aggressive there. And I, I kind of knew I needed to stay to the outside because he was going to come to the inside. But if he was coming too fast, I knew he was going to ram me off the track. But luckily, he just like went straight by me. Um, and, and, and I landed a P3. So I was really, really happy landing a P3 in this race. So it felt really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumb it up, subscribe, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.